Good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Dan Dell. Uh, I work for Telegraph. Um, and just like what Mr. Short had said, uh, we manufacture uh, tactical, and uh, it's called, uh, the acronym is EOD, and it stands for Explosive Ordnance Disposal. It's a fancy term for bomb disposal. Um, and these, uh, the robots that we make and the products that we sell, um, uh, we, work, we work with uh, police departments, SWAT teams, and of course, bomb squads. Uh, we don't have anything for the United States military yet, but uh, we're hoping that 2019 or 2020 might be uh, a big year for us. We're actually in uh, negotiations with Tyndall just down the road a couple hours uh, in the Air Force trying to get in there. So um, that's typically uh, uh, who we sell to here, here in the U.S. But uh, <coughs> the, the company uh, is about 30 years old. Uh, we started uh, just after the nuclear disaster in Chernobyl, uh, if anyone is familiar with that. Uh, as the world saw what was happening uh, with that nuclear meltdown uh, that was going on in Russia at their power plant, uh, the German government started to really look at what their operations were like and thought, what if that disaster happened here in Germany? And so uh, the German government commissioned a series of engineering firms in order to build robots to help uh, in the event of some type of a nuclear disaster. Uh, if any of you know much about Chernobyl, there were a lot of humans that were uh, tasked with going in to try to help clean up that disaster. And it's a really dangerous place for humans to be. So German government and private engineering firms got together and built robots that were capable of disposing of nuclear uh, reactor cores in an emergency. And once they came up with their first platform, which is probably about 10 times larger than, than this robot here, the uh, German government realized that there was other uses for them, and that's how this company started. So today we've evolved and we have, um, we have large robots still that we make uh, that size. They probably weigh about 1,000 pounds and can lift uh, 250 pounds. Um, but this is one of our smaller units, uh, and uh, it's typically what we're selling here in, in the United States. Uh, so we will sell these uh, machines to bomb squads, police departments, uh, SWAT teams, things like that, and their tasks are to help law enforcement uh, dispose of dangerous things so that a human doesn't have to go do that. Um, and the whole idea behind these machines is to help save someone's life in the event that uh, there's a, a dangerous place that the robot has to go into. So that's just a brief background about the company, about what we do, but probably you want to see what this thing can do, right? So uh, this is, um, it's called our hybrid robot. Uh, it's got a larger arm. It's able to lift a little more weight. Uh, you can probably see that it's got uh, four tracks and also four tires. Um, the four tires can come off if we need to get it very narrow to get down an, an aisle of a plane or a bus or uh, a, a, a train or something like that. Um, but there's quite a few things that can happen once we get into those situations. So, uh, for instance, um, <coughs> If we get into a plane and we have uh, uh, something in an overhead bin or in a bus and something up in a luggage rack that needs an inspection, uh, we have ways that we can make this machine a lot taller than, uh, than what it is right now. And so what this is, it's a pre-programmed uh, position. There's quite a few that, that we give so that in a high stress situation, the operator doesn't have to think a whole lot about what they're doing. This is something that with two pushes of a button, now all of a sudden I'm seven, about seven feet tall. If I add on extra tools, I can go higher, I can reach higher. There's a lot of other uh, pre-programmed positions, uh, but you can imagine if you're in the aisle of a plane, how, use, uh, how useful this would be, or a train, or something that's maybe up on top of a bookshelf. Because in the position that it was in before, there's no way that it could reach it. Uh, 